Hey, this is Susan Blanton with the Create Happy Now podcast, and I'm just jumping in here today by myself, um, not on camera, to just let you know I'm going to be starting a series, and these are going to be recorded interviews that were conducted earlier this year for a conference called Intuitive Masters of Happiness Conference. It was such an amazing conference. We had 1,500 registrants for this event. It was a week long and we had 20 masters that I interviewed and each of them had their own special story and uh, insights on how to discover and strengthen your intuition what you can do with your intuition, the benefits of connecting to your intuition, and how it's changed lives. And so I have decided to share the audio versions of these interviews with you. And I'm going to be releasing them starting in the next couple of weeks, probably before May is over, so that you can enjoy once a week one of these interviews. They're about 30 minutes long and I'm telling you these these people are well versed in how to follow your intuition, connect into that inner wisdom of yourself and how it really helps you with happiness, abundance, peace, and purpose. And who can't say yes to that? But I wanted to just talk a little bit about your intuition and why this is really so important right now. If you are on your journey to truth currently, right now is the time of awakening. Since 2012, our consciousness as a whole has tipped a bit enough to where we are headed towards a much better consciousness worldwide. And I know this sounds far-fetched, but when you are seeking your truth and you are uh, finding what resonates with you, you do find that this is where we are going. And It may seem counterintuitive, um, no pun intended here, because we're seeing a lot of bad things going on in the world. And the reason for that is our light has turned on and we are seeing things that have been going on for some time and we are wanting change. We are not happy with the banking system. We're not happy with Big Pharma. We're not happy with you know what's going on with um, you know these these wars that are popping up here and there we're not happy with you know the the human trafficking all these things that have popped up sounds really bad and it is really bad but it's because it's been going on for a while but now we know about it we're much more tapped in and tuned in on the things that have been held in the dark from us for quite some time and now we see them and so now we're trying to clean things up and I also noticed having been in the corporate world that there's a there's a push for conscious business or conscious capitalism is definitely a movement for conscious culture in the workplace you know to be nicer for the companies to not just focus on profit but focus on how they affect their employees how they affect their consumers how they affect the environment and this is super important and this is a great opportunity for companies out there to take on this ideal because if you treat your employees with the 
the needs that they have as human beings to offer them the tools to be happier to have peace in their life less stress less less anxiety more purpose more meaning where they are in the workplace and have that work life balance and be appreciated then you're going to have employees that are going to be loyal. You're going to have less turnover. You're going to have healthier employees. You're going to have employees that want to stay a long time and really want to take care of the company because the company's taking care of them. It's a win-win situation. And also companies are all about the customer as well. They want the customer to be happy. They want to make sure that all stakeholders, everybody that the company touches is a win, 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 win situation. This is coming. I've seen it. And I've seen where people are really worried about, not worried, but focused on inclusion, you know, making sure that everyone is included. Nobody is left out. Nobody is made to feel like they are less than. They're made to feel like they have an equal say in their position in the company and where it's going. And and so I, I really feel that that's really a positive. But back to intuition. That is something that personally I have found to be extremely valuable. This is what it's done for me. I have always been a people pleaser, perfectionist. I fretted about what everybody thought about me. I fret about making decisions. I fret about doing the right thing. I did everything to <clears throat> please my parents, please my husband, please my children, please my friends, always be the nice person, always be the one that did something right to a level of exhaustion and self-loathing. And I lost who I was. I mean, after I had done all the things that I thought that I was supposed to do, you know, as, as following somebody else's blueprint, um, following the sheep's pl blueprint of what's expected from us in life, I ended up with nothing. I mean, I wouldn't say nothing because I had everything, but I felt empty. I had done all everything achieved everything but there was no happiness at the end of it and I, I am like what did I do wrong right I'm and then and then I blamed everybody else and you can't blame those who have pushed you or told you to go uh, pursue something that you felt was in your heart not quite right or maybe you didn't know any better they didn't know any better but those who have followed their passion followed their intuition followed the faith took uncomfortable action pushed themselves to get to their why you know, their passion is their why. Those are the ones that are finding their connection. Because if we are using our brain too much, then our brain is going to be either punching us for not doing something right or exhausting us to push us over the edge to maintain our identity in this world and it's not necessary to have this identity 
it's actually counterintuitive because when you have a strong identity, whether it's a victimhood identity or illness identity or success identity, then your happiness is going to be elusive. But when you let go of attachments to things, people, success, health, when you stop attaching your happiness to these things, then that's when all the things that you did want come to you like magnets. But if you don't have them or do have them, it doesn't really matter to you. They're fun. You can have desires, but you're not stuck with the ideal of I'll be happy when or I'll be happy if. And when you let go of that, this is something I discovered myself. And I discovered it with my relationship with um, the person that I'm with now. I've been with for many, many years. Um, I divorced my husband after 18 years and have been in a relationship with my uh, significant other uh, since then and I we never got married but I just decided I wanted to enjoy him for as long as I could instead of holding on that maybe we'll get married maybe we'll do this maybe we'll do this I was always ready to walk away and a few times I did and we couldn't stand it so we got back together and when I did that I realized I started letting go of other things I let go of worrying about what people thought now I'm a people pleaser I'm a recovering people pleaser so there are times where that still tends to be running in the background but I've really made some huge strides in this area and I also let go of perfectionism because I my perfectionism was tied to people pleasing and what people thought of me if I did something that wasn't perfect then they might be disappointed in me or um, think that I did something with um, half the effort that I should have and there's perfection needed in some things and some things you'll be perfect because you love it enjoy it but you don't have to be perfect at everything you don't have to be perfect at anything but what I want to say about this intuition is if you let go of all of these expectations of yourself and of others your happiness is your responsibility and your and other people's happiness is their responsibility not yours that was a huge game changer for me but when you let go of your own expectations let go of worrying about success, survival, and you do what you love. You do, you tap into that internal wisdom, which often the way you do it is, is two ways. Either you get to a point where you're in such a low point in your life, sometimes you flip a switch and all of a sudden the it, it, it connects very significantly and strong strongly to to you and 
and you're like Eureka and your life changes in, in an instant. But you can't control if or when that's going to happen. But if you want to get there more slowly, like I did, I didn't have a flipped switch. Mine came from seeking my truth. I just opened up all avenues. I had to let go of some beliefs and I went down the rabbit hole because it was so much fun to <laughs> discover so many things that were just so amazing and transformative. The way that you can tap into your intuition is by calming your mind and many people that's a hard thing to do. It was a hard thing for me to do. I was a worry wart. I got that from my mother. She was always worrying, always worrying. And so I thought that's what you do. <laughs> I thought that's what you do. Um, but worry is exhausting. It drains your adrenals. It, it activates your stress hormones. We can't live in the future. We can't live in the past. We can only live in the present moment. You can only take a video in the present moment. So live in the present moment. You can only just go back to memories and, and enjoy them, but you can't identify yourself from the past. Today is a new day. And tomorrow is tomorrow. Live today. Be in the moment with your loved ones. Be in the moment in what you're doing. That's where life is. That's where your inner wisdom is. That is where your intuition is. When you are in the present moment, you're going to see and know and hear that still small voice more clearly and see the, the breadcrumbs that your intuition leaves, the synchronicity, the fun things that sometimes the universe places in front of you to go, oh, okay, I see you. But if you're not paying attention, if you're worrying about the future or, or mulling over the past, you're not going to see those things. Or you may not act on them because you just passed right by it. So I want you to be on the lookout for this series of interviews that will be coming up, Intuitive Masters of Happiness series. There will be no video. I'm sorry about that, but um, I want to remain uh, conscious of the people that who did attend the conference in person not in person but they watched the the um, events uh, the last week of February and some of them purchased a VIP which allowed them to download all 20 interviews the videos plus they were able to get some of my meditations and worksheets to help them strengthen their intuition. I am offering another VIP package. So since you won't be able to listen uh, or see the videos through the um, podcast. Um, now, I also upload videos to my YouTube channel, Create Happy Now. So all podcast recordings will be on my YouTube channel create happy now these will also be on my YouTube channel but they will be an audio version only whereas other my other podcast recordings were all video except for the first few back in 2020 so if you want to see the full interview with um, 
it's a little bit more elaborate, <laughs> um, then I will have a VIP package available. I'm not sure uh, what the pricing will be at this time. Uh, the last time I included a live event at the end, and I'm not going to be including that this time. So I will be uh, offering that, and that will be available. You'll know how to get that package when the first when the first interview is released on uh, on this podcast. I also wanted to give an announcement that I am creating a new app. It's called Create Happy Meditations. And what's nice about this meditation app, it's maybe a little different than others perhaps, this one introduces the different types of meditations that are out there. And you might be doing the wrong meditations and they might be counterproductive or maybe even sometimes doing some harm rather than good. So I want to show you the different kinds. There's not too many different kinds, but depending on where you are at, your state of mind, whether you're in your body or overwhelmed, stressed out or in pain, there's lots of different factors and I give you a way to test yourself so that you can determine in that moment or maybe in general what meditations you should be practicing. And I also show you the variety of different meditations out there that aren't necessarily ones that you do with your eyes closed. You know, there's many artists and musicians and that find themselves in a meditative state when they're in the zone, actively participating in music or actively participating in uh, a drawing. And you don't necessarily have to be a musician or an artist to enjoy what they have been able to tap into. This is a great way to quiet your mind. There's also ones that include movement. And there's also like hand gestures and body. Uh, you know, I mean, yoga is definitely kind of a form of meditation, but there's others that you can explore as well. And so I go through, I am going to have three levels. The free version is going to have a few items that you can uh, determine what kind of meditation you really like, which ones are best for you. And then uh, I'm also going to have two paid versions. The lower one will be offering exclusive meditations, ones that people may not have experienced before. You'll be able to track your practice and have access to the community and be alerted of any live events, have access to purchase any mini courses that I'll be providing. And then there's the premium version, which will include all of the mini courses. Um, that you won't have to pay a la carte. They'll just come with the membership. You'll be uh, having free access to the live events. And you'll also have even more exclusive access to some of the really deep meditations. And this app will have additional meditations added to it all the time. I will have an accompanying, I do have started a YouTube channel called Create Happy Meditations as well. It will also have an additional library, but the YouTube channel obviously is free and it doesn't come with any instructions. It doesn't come with any explanations or tracking. 
or really an, an active, active community like the Apple have. So I wanted to have you be aware that this will be launching sometime this summer. I was hoping at the end of May, but I um, it's, it's taking a little longer than I thought. <laughs> I'm really enjoying putting this together, and I really want an, an amazing app for you to enjoy. So it might take a little longer. So it could be uh, just sometime this summer. I'm not going to say yet. I'll, I'll keep everybody abreast of when it's actually going to come out. So I'm not going to ramble on much longer here, but I just wanted to jump in today here solo and let you know about what I've got going on. And I do have an, one more podcast. I am not sure if I'm going to put it on the podcast. I'll probably put it just on the YouTube channel, but it will be a live interview, in-person interview with um, the Tappan Girl. And so I'm really excited about that. She is just a live wire and I'm going to be in Indiana with her uh, just hanging out and we're going to be doing some tapping. So that's it for today. Just check in uh, every week and we'll let you know when we're going to be starting the Intuitive Masters of Happiness series. Thank you again for listening appreciate all your support check out our patreon account so you can help support us we appreciate that and namaste <music>